Um, we might as well in this time just talk a little bit about the, I guess, opportunities, limitations of working during the pandemic. And so anybody could jump in as far as, uh, you know, has that caused you to work differently, N not differently? Does it affect your studio practice or if anybody wants to just comment on that, I think that would be interesting. I'm, I'm having to figure out how to uh, install sort of complex uh, installations remotely, um, which is something that I've done a little bit in the past. Like if you just can't go, uh, like time, time doesn't allow, um, you know, you do have to kind of figure it out, but uh, it's getting more and more uh, people are wanting complex installations overseas and I can't, we, they don't want us over, they don't want us over there. <laughs> they want the work and doing a lot of this kind of stuff too, like being available on Skype or whatever. And, and, and also setting up remote desktop so that I can get in and, and tweak things on the computer. So it's not ideal. I love to travel, uh, but I get it. You know, that's where we're at. Um, and at least people are still interested in the work. I think that I'm fortunate in that respect. However, you know, I'm having to, you know, I would much rather be on site doing it. So rather than putting together a document but yeah hopefully we'll we'll get past this soon i'm sure that's challenging to put into words for somebody else to install one of your pieces i mean yeah i mean there's I'm a lot sure of you could keep wait a minute there's three steps between these two steps and well as as you know joe too like it takes a long time to set these things up i mean i'm a very diy kind of person and and uh uh, it's not, it's not, you just, you don't just go to the gallery and just bam, it's, it's there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of fussing around and, and, uh, coding and tweaking and software updates and, ah, you know, stuff that is buggy. I make buggy stuff. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, yeah, you have to kind of put yourself in the position of somebody that hasn't done it before, or maybe has a little bit of technical expertise, but not like, you know, cause it's, it's, it's new, uh, so, I mean, it, it's new to a lot of people installing it. So I do, I do try to put myself in that position as much as I can. It's also good to run these by thing, or run these PDFs by people that maybe haven't necessarily seen it before. But, uh, and also just be available. I think that's, that's a big part of it, being available if there's any questions. So, mm -hmm. Not what I'd like to be doing, but you know, that's, that's where we we're at. We appreciate your availability. <laughs> well, it's convenient because I'm right across the street, right? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. What about you, Jim? I, I know that we um, were going to have a summer 2020 exhibition and that had to be retooled. And you, I think, maybe did something a little different than you might might have if if it weren't for the situation we're in. I I did. I, I, I moved like full on to, I'd been experimenting with some animation uh, uh, work. And I, it's funny, I'm, I'm sitting here looking, I've got the uh, uh, gallery view of the, of the Zoom here where everybody's in a grid. And I, I, just, I just realized again, and I, and I realize this every now and then when I'm on a Google Meets call or a Zoom call, which is all the time these days, um, that I really laid out the, the animations. I, I thought of the animations as, as being laid out in the same way. I think if you look at the animations mm. that show, they're, they're either uh, uh, next to each other or a four pack or a two pack, and, and they they have a tendency to kind of act as a, as a kind of a community of different kinds of movement. But, but more importantly than that, it was, a, it was a solitary exercise. And um, I'm in my studio a lot. And I, I, can, I can move around and, and um, you know, but, but nobody else was in the studio ever. And uh, things started piling up. And, you know, how, how often do you, you, you know, do you need to, like clean up after yourself when nobody's coming around and all of these things kind of changed 
the pace and the, and the way the studio worked. And I just sat in front of the computer. I, the, the light in my studio uh, was just right in the morning to do, uh, uh, to do these sync, uh, stop frame animation shoots uh, by natural light. And when the sun got too high in the sky and messed up the light, I'd stop and I'd go to the computer and, 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 and work on them uh, there. Um, I'm not sure if, if the pandemic caused that, but the pandemic caused such a shift in the way we live that it seemed to call out for some major shift in how I was making it. Um, and, and so the two, the two linked up really, really nicely. For me. So the, the work you ended up creating later in the summer for the online exhibition was something you already were thinking about and working on. It just, well, I think, I think I started working on it in the spring when we started, when we realized that we weren't going to be able to bring a truckload of of, of art, uh, I mean, what I what I wanted to do is not use the online exhibition as a as simply a place to show my sculptures. I, the the work had the the sculptural work that I had done for the show was three dimensional and it had um, a great amount to do with you moving around and things shifting in relationship to each other. Um, and you can't do that when you're showing a photograph of the work on the screen, that doesn't happen. So I wanted to put the kinetic aspect of it somewhere else. And, and, I, and I wanted to make, if I was gonna do an online exhibition, I wanted the online space to be the natural habitat, the primary natural habitat for the world. So uh, that's, that's kind of where we, that's kind of where we went. Um, I, I, I think I, um, I, I, you know, I thought a lot about, um, um, I thought a lot about Kathy's work actually when I was, when I was trying to put it together and because we tried really, we had some limitations, uh, and we could only get so far into this, but I tried to, um, to go beyond just having video on the screen too. And, and having some sort of interactive uh, capacity for the viewer to play with and, and change the and, and change the compositions around. Uh, it turns out that the, the complexity of that became enormous very quick, especially with sound involved. Uh, so the limitations we had technically to deal with proved to be a really good set of constraints to to, to build something within. And, and uh, I think we did it. I think we got uh, an installation online that, that, um, that, that was its own, was, uh, was its own life. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of it. I, the, the, um, the kind of super high depth animation from, from stop frame photography is really um, I, I I open it up all the time it's just and I'll I'll leave it on my computer screen and just let it let it uh, let it go it's it's uh, I haven't got tired of it yet. that's good neither have we so good <laughs> what about you Jonathan is there I know you've relocated during this period? Is there anything that, you know, has been a challenge or a, an opportunity for you? Uh, yeah, I would say <clears throat> um, initially, uh, I wasn't really sure what to make of all, I mean, just like everybody else, right? I didn't know what to do or what to think. Um, I, I was living, me and my wife were living in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the time on uh, what we were calling a residency to escape the winter. <clears throat> and uh, we were just trying to figure out, um, you know, what our next move is because uh, we both, I guess, are lucky in the sense that we can work remotely 
um, from just about anywhere that we want to. And uh, other than my humongous canvases, uh, we pack pretty light wherever we go, you know, so we have a bit of a nomadic uh, um, advantage there. <clears throat> I think initially uh, I just started to notice a few cancellations coming in, you know, as far as uh, things that I would have to show up for. And um, at first I didn't notice, you know, uh, being a freelance artist, I, I was mindful of the fact that, you know, these were going to affect, you know, my income throughout the year. Uh, because a lot of times just like showing up to talk about the work, you know, can mean a uh, month's rent or something. So uh, after I saw enough of those come in, I thought, oh, well, this, this is actually starting to get kind of serious. So maybe I should pay it a little more attention. You know, I mean, we were already like uh, sanitizing our groceries and, uh, you know, like not going to the grocery store very much and buying like $300 worth of groceries at the t at a time, which is, I mean, for me, you know, like putting 60 bucks worth of groceries on the conveyor belt was huge, you know, prior to this year. So uh, we were just gonna stay put, um, but then I started to pay attention to, you know, the fact that my parents are, uh, they're in their late 60s and they don't really have you know, a lot of uh, <clears throat> folks around uh, Walker area where, where I'm at now um, to help them out with stuff. And they'll never tell you that they need help. But I started thinking, uh, you know, maybe I should just get my butt home. And uh, that meant that we had to get everything packed up and head back up to Minnesota a little early, which is great. You know, we, we love being back. Uh, we locked out and found, you know, a nice studio space where uh, there's plenty of high ceilings out here it used to be an old uh, uh i wouldn't say it's old it's kind of remodeled it's a little rustic uh so it smells like um you know like cedar and stuff like that <clears throat> but i guess the people that were in here before was a, a, an attorney uh office it was, it was a few attorneys so we found a ton of vodka bottles in the um, cabinets when we were sort of clearing it out and uh um, I guess there were a bunch in the crawl space too, but, uh, mm. we, we've had a chance to make it our own and hooked up some internet and now we're kind of back in business and up and running. <clears throat> there was a bit of a lull in my productivity, you know, with having to make that jump, but I'm glad that I can be close to home. I'm glad that, you know, I can be, uh, around my community when I need, you know, it's nice to be close to Duluth again in Minneapolis where I grew up. Uh, and then Red Lake, where I was born, um, because I actually uh, spent the last week, I wouldn't consider myself a muralist, but every once in a while I get commissioned to do a mural, and uh, that's a whole adventure in itself, you know, and usually a mural is a community project where people are showing up, <clears throat> they're giving you input uh, i'm not the kind of artist that's going to like show up and paint like uh, you know a haunted squid on the wall, like terrorizing a, a family or something, you know, if it's going to go into, you know, some place where families are going to try to walk by there and have a good day. Uh, you know, I kind of like to show up and get um, info, info, you know, an input as to what the space is used for and what is important to the community and work that way. So it was a lot of uh, meeting with people at a distance, um, masks, most of the time. Uh, there were times when I would take mine off during the mural process, but if somebody came into the space, I would immediately mask up and, you know, like we would keep our distance and stuff like that. So <clears throat> that was different, you know, it was really different. Um, I, I uh, was aware all of the time, you know, that we are in a pandemic because, uh, you know, uh, people will come by and usually just talk about the art and they'll want to shake your paint covered hand. You know, that's not a thing anymore. They stay away, they stay back, they keep their mask on. Uh, no, nah, there, there's a couple of people that still wanted to shake, shake my hand, but uh, you know, that's what hand sanitizers for. So um, not anything against them, just trying to follow, you know, the suggested guidelines of what's happening now. Uh, and then um, having to travel 
you know, which we talked about a little bit earlier is a new thing. You know, like I stayed at the Double Tree in Bemidji, which is a really nice place and uh, super comfortable, but like spending a whole week in a place where just to uh, leave your room, you know, you have to mask up, get everything ready, sanitize, uh, to come back to the room, you have to be mindful that you push the elevator button to get to your floor. And uh, in a different time, you know, I was uh, always happy to stay at a double tree or something like that. Um, uh, this week, I actually couldn't wait to get out of there <laughs> and get back home where I could just relax, you know, and touch my TV and not have to worry about who the last person was that touched it. Yeah, that's good that they were still willing to go ahead with the project, though. You you managed to get get a project done during this period. Not everybody canceled, evidently, so that's good. Yeah, they had the uh, they had the funding set aside. They had the funding set aside early in the year, and uh, I was supposed to do it early in the year, but um, we had to schedule around my uh, distance being in Oklahoma. And then when I came back, they kind of still had the funding set aside. So uh, it worked out. And uh, <clears throat> the mural is on the Red Lake Indian Reservation where I was born. So uh, for me, it was important um, and really you know, a nice experience to be able to go back there because, uh, you know, it's a small community um, and, uh, you know, they do a lot, you know, as a community to just kind of like self-sustain. So for me to be invited in to uh, create something, you know, that would be a nice, um, maybe permanent part of the community uh, for me was, uh, you know, it was nice. It was a nice bit of medicine from this this crazy year that we're in. You know, it was nice to just kind of go there and feel welcome and get fed and, uh, you know, just kind of learn a little bit about uh, what makes people tick around there. <clears throat>